when their games are even a little bit more optimized. I mean, come on, people. <laughs> you pay $700 for no difference, and you got PlayStation ponies camping talk about y'all can't afford it. What is you talking about, man? If I can afford to buy three different consoles, then I think I'd be able to afford to pay seven hundred dollars, well, eight hundred if you want the disc drive for this lousy PlayStation Five Pro, man. You guys are doing everything in your power to damage control this console, man. But you know what? I kind of miss the days when Dreamcast used to bash Xbox. It's just not the same anymore, man. You know, when you gonna go back to Bash and Microsoft? Cast guy here, and today we're talking about the PlayStation 5 Pro because I now have access to a bunch of 4K screenshots and some actual comparisons. I bring this up very often, and I think it's the most valid complaint. Whoa, 4K. Hit the road, Jack, and never come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack, and never come back no more. Come on. Hit the road, Jack, and never come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack, and never come back, you pro. Uh, Mark Cerny, it's the fact that in order to even see the graphical difference, this, I'm watching this on a 1000 You know what I heard, guys? I heard if you buy the $750 tier, you'll be able to get a magnifying glass so you'll be able to tell the difference in how you <laughs> You need some bifocals to see the difference with this. Thousand dollar monitor. Oh man, don't you guys be playing games in your living room on near your sofa? Like, like how are you gonna really be sitting on top of your screen thinking like, oh there, there you go. I see Nathan Drake. He got a pimple right underneath his um his beard, man. You mean Joel from The Last of Us? Yeah, man. Yo, I can see the little bit, but look at that. Oh yeah, it look like if you put two fingers, you can bust it. Bruh, <laughs> y'all doing too much, man. And now, now they out here comparing this to a powerful PC, man. Like, dude, listen, man, just take your L and go home. It's fine. There's no difference besides the price tag. <laughs> I'm looking at this gameplay and editing this video on a $2,000 computer. It's it's one of those things where, like, like, even to be able to see the difference, you have to have a very top-of-the-line ultra hd tv that's probably going to cost you hundreds and hundreds of dollars and that's another problem too with video gaming consoles as much as you people want to hold on to the fact that these consoles are next generation because uh because of resolution but guess what guess what if you put a super nintendo on a crt and an n64 you see the difference same resolutions you do the same thing with a gamecube you can see the graphical leaps Matter of fact, I even go as far to say with the PS3 and 360, yeah, it might not be as shiny or as glistening, <laughs> glistening, but you can still see that there's a huge improvement over the games that you're playing. See, this is the problem with a lot of modern gaming, and this all started during the Xbox One and PS4, bro, when you guys had nothing but Vaseline on your screens. You all remember that? Mr. O Vaseline. This is still 30 FPS, by the way. Especially now that I'm looking at in 4K, this is 4K 30 FPS, and yeah, that ray tracing does look good. Let me do this though. So what I decided to do is I took shots of my own. So these are from the video itself. Uh, I decided to screenshot it though, so we could. And zoom. You know what's so funny? You got PlayStation fans say you need it in your home. You can't tell the difference between a screenshot. Bro, if you can't tell the difference between a screenshot, then at this point, this is like leaps and beyond how you can prove if the resolution has been improved. Because Digital Foundry does it in their videos too all the time where they take like this 600 times magnifier on an object just to show you if it gets blurry or not. This is the perfect example of doing it. And a lot of you guys are hating Dreamcast Guy for this because he's exposing you. Been a bit. This is the standard performance version. Like right now, I can barely see a difference, bro. Barely. I don't even, honestly, let me see. I'm going to see if I can find a difference. I don't see it, man. You know, maybe there's a few rocks, but that could have more to do with the fact that there's a lot of traffic going on in here in comparison to there. So, like I said, it's it, like it's really not noticeable. Which is like uh, where you're having it with higher frame rate instead of higher visual fidelity. 
The whole point of the Pro is that you don't have to choose between graphics or frame rate. And I think that... Well, you kind of do because every game that's coming out for it's going to be capped at 30 still and you know what's funny i like how playstation ponies don't want to bring up the fact that a lot of their games are going to be capped at 30 now with the ps5 pro game still with another w remember when they were throwing their 60 fps and a bunch of xbox series x fans now look at it a lot of your games are going to be capped at 32 so what are we doing here man and now and if you notice they have no problem playing these games at 30 fps just like what they did with drag dragon dogmas too you see what I'm saying? It's the hypocrisy. It is a good fight to have. You know, I do wish more games would be 60 FPS, but of course I want more games to have ray tracing. And so... Oh, now you do. Oh, that's funny because when Xbox didn't have 60 FPS games, uh, you was out here bashing it. Didn't you talk about a void not too long ago about how that game ran at 30 FPS and now all of a sudden you PlayStation fanboys have accepted the frame rate of what these consoles are supposed to be capped at? Wow. Looking at it side by side, like, I, I guess this sign looks better. This tree definitely looks a lot, lot better. This trash can looks better. I, I think part of the biggest issue with this is that even though this does measurably look improved, it's by such a tiny amount. Like, the fact that I'm literally zooming in and going, yeah. His fur here is kind of blurry, and then his fur here. But look at how close you have to zoom in into your TV screen. Most people are not going to notice that sitting from the comfort of their sofa, playing games in a living room. Like, you hear what I'm saying? Unless you're playing on an 80-inch 80, 80 monitor and you're playing it like how you would do back in the days on a 15-inch screen, then I don't know what to tell you, man. Because at the end of the day, there's really no difference. Oh, he got a little bit more fur on the face. You know, it feels like if I put my hand there, I can feel it. There is less blurry. But if you can't see, if you got to do all this, man, if you got to do all this zooming in stuff, which to be honest with you, most gamers are not going to be able to do. That's not how these games are designed. Then what, like I said, then to me, they're the same. This is the kind of thing where I'm doing this via screenshots. So it's not going to give us the best representation as to how this stuff would look on an actual console. But even this, PS5 Fidelity versus PS5 Pro. Looks the same. Like, this grass looks a little bit better, I guess. Like, It looks the same. I feel like Sony's biggest battle when it comes to this system of trying to get people excited for it is the fact that it doesn't have that same amount of visual shock that the PlayStation 5 had, you know? Like, even this, look, looking at a remaster... It's really not that much of a difference, and, and that's even worse, man. Like, you guys have ran out of games to remaster. Now, Sony decided to remaster game consoles. Like, this is ridiculous, bro. I'm sorry, man. As much as you people want to keep holding on to the fact that PlayStation 5 is the most dominant brand in gaming, uh, bro, all I'm going to say is where's the games? PlayStation 4 game is not going to wow me. Like, he, here's something I think, like, whoop, let's pause that for a second. Still looks the same. See, th these screenshots are obviously slightly desynced. They had to play the game twice. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, depending on how you pause the screen, I mean, at the end of the day, the clarity seems, from my perspective, seems to be the same. But stuff like this, background quality, you can see more of, like, the planes of wood. There's, like, individual staining on some of the boards. And that's, that's because that's a different house. Stuff. I feel like this is the issue with it, is that, like, it does look better. I mean, undoubtedly, it does look better. Of course. I mean, I would assume that it would look slightly better after paying $700 for it. But we're talking, like, 2% better. Yeah. I, I almost think that Sony made a mistake by showing us games we've already platinumed, you know? No. Actually, these are the perfect examples because these are good comparisons. The fact that we barely see, see any differences in the games that you guys are playing currently shows you that there's not going to be any difference when they decide to... This is the biggest scam, bro. I've never in my life thought Sony would actually go out here and use these, you know, overpriced PC parts, bro. Y'all getting scammed, man. All Sony did was repackage the same PS5, uh, put it under a new shell, put, you know, had Wolverine put his three claws through it, and there you go. There, there's your PlayStation 5 Pro. Like, I, I mean, this is a joke, man. I, I'm sorry, bro. I even think that I've seen games on the PS4 Pro, and they actually had some differences. This is sad. Like, this stuff here looks good in 4K, but 
A, I'm recording this, which is going to slightly compress it, and then I'm going to put it into my editing program. And I think the drive to constantly try to push technology is admirable. I understand that. No, the... it's the fact that it's finally hit its cap in regards to consoles. I mean, if we're going to want to see the boundaries being pushed within in gaming, guys, you guys got to go to PC, man. At the end of the day, consoles have finally hit their limitations. Yes, I've said it. I've said it. Consoles have finally hit the limitations, and the only way we're going to be able to push these boundaries of these games if you guys decide to play them on PC. It is what it is, man. Playing on consoles, you're never going to get a next-generation gaming experience anymore, bro. And what's even funny, I've seen people compare like this RTX 4, what is it, 4009, whatever. I don't know, PC, 4090 or whatever. And Last of Us Part 1 actually looks phenomenal running on the PC, right? But then you look in comparison to the PS5 Pro or whatever they're trying to tell you, it, 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 it's it's like it's night and day, bro. So if you want next generation gaming, I'm going to advise you guys to go to PC. PC will be the ultimate place for that experience. The PlayStation 5 is selling like crazy. But so as long as these consoles exist, we're going to still get a lot of these projects, man. We're never going to get next generation gaming if consoles still exist want to keep people which is probably going to exist for quite some time man as long as they're pushing these subscription services engaged with the ecosystem and if luxury gamers want to buy a luxury console like i understand what they're trying to do here but this almost feels like something that's going to hurt their own market like they said 15 percent of people that bought a playstation 4 ended up buying a playstation four felt downgraded it felt that that was better you know i almost feel like there's a difference apparently sony has this fear of making their games have, look like they have like a better version and a worse version this is pretty much already identical to what we saw on the base model i'm telling you man like <laughs> i mean you ponies you ponies getting like i said man if you guys want to have superior versions to some of these xbox games and i'm telling you it's not even going to be that much of a difference the only difference that i see is the money that you're going to have, have at the end of your wallet hopefully you guys enjoy this video man and like i said take care peace out